Okay, Pascal. Ready. See you next time. Merci beaucoup, au revoir. Au revoir. <coughs> so that's me leaving uh, Pascal and Natalie, the friends I met last uh, year. The hospitality last night was just absolutely phenomenal. So lucky to have uh, met some people like that and their family. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wrong side of the road. <laughs> So today I will be finishing or going on the southern part of the Tet 22 in France uh, which I never got a chance to do last year um, so that's my uh, my plan today uh, I was just having an interesting conversation this morning on some things that I didn't really know about France and uh, about nature and wildlife and uh, Pascal and Natalie were uh, explaining to me that just in the forest that I'm going to be travelling through in the next few minutes uh, they actually have wild boar uh, just running free uh, obviously they have deer the same as we do in the UK and the zoos say that there are some rare sightings a little bit higher up in the mountains of uh, wolves um, so that, that sort of uh, not shocked me, but surprised me, I suppose. <coughs> yeah, that surprised me, I suppose, that's for sure, because we don't get that in England or in the UK, shall we say. Anyway, so this is it, I'm on the uh, Tet 22, French Tet 22. Uh, going towards um, a lake called, I think if I pronounce this right, Black Genon, which is supposed to be really pretty, so uh, weather's a really nice temperature this morning, it was absolutely roasting yesterday uh, on my motorway sort of day, it was like 35 degrees C, uh, but today it's more, it's 22, it's a little bit of damp in the air, it's quite pleasant actually. So it'd be a nice start to the uh, <coughs> to the morning, the late morning may I add. <laughs> this is the road I actually came up last year. And then uh, the clutch finally gave in after the breakdown I got. So <laughs> hopefully this year I'll be able to uh, finish it. So nice to be on some twisty roads. Yesterday was just uh, <laughs> relentless. But I wanted to do it because, uh, like I said, I've got a shorter time this year on this trip. So the sooner I get the miles out of the way and um, get to the uh, beautiful scenery and these twisty roads like this, the better. For anyone that is watching this, the breakdown last year was a clutch. And uh, the, what the issue was in the end, obviously I had to get the new clutch plates. But the cause was actually the uh, clutch cable, just there, um, was uh, just slightly under too much tension. So when I was going up some of the off-road sections on the French Tech 22, um, it was just ever so slightly riding the clutch, but not, not enough where you could sort of hear it. Uh, until obviously it went. Anyway, I managed to get to safety. I got helped by uh, a couple of people. Uh, and then I thought I'd fixed it. And then I set off up this road through the forest. And then uh, it was only just around this next corner. But, um, it completely went, so I had to turn the bike round and I literally rolled all the way down back to the town to a point where obviously I couldn't get it up the hills because uh, it just wasn't engaging and uh, that's when Pascal and Natalie 
their brother-in-law and wife uh, were there to save the day, I suppose. I've been coming to the Alps for, uh, I think it's about 10 years now. <clears throat> my first ever trip was on my own. And then I went with friends and then I obviously done other solo trips. Uh, and I just never get sick of the Alps, the dramatic landscape, everything about it. The roads, the mountain passes, but this, uh, since I got into adventure biking, which is not something I've ever even really knew about, to be quite honest with you. It's just given such, so much more to, to, uh, to my adventures and, and, and trips on the bike. Yeah, I, I just can't explain it. Obviously you get the off-road element, which is all great fun. But uh, even the scenery, you see things that you wouldn't see from the road. You get to places that you wouldn't see or get to on the road, of course. And uh, not only that, the communities involved, you know, whether it's online, you know, most of the Facebook groups or social media groups on Instagram, etc. that I'm on, they're absolutely fantastic. So helpful. So the added bonus also of doing adventure biking and going off-road is you don't encounter all the speed cameras that uh, are on today's roads. Um, and plus, you're not doing them speeds anyway when you're off-road. You can uh, just chill. I think there are times where you can, you know, get the hammer down as they say. But you're not doing anywhere near the same kind of speeds. So I'm not saying the uh, consequences <coughs> can't be bad because it's, uh, you know, it's no fun uh, coming up and hitting yourself on rocks. Anyway, so at the end of the meal last night, we had uh, a few courses. We had, you know, wines to start, we had wine in the meal, <coughs> the various wines, dessert wine. And then um, we had something at the end that I didn't quite get what it was. Um, but it was like a, like a kind of finishing kind of drink, made from pear, so it was Pascal's uh, friend that um, <coughs> had, makes it apparently in the black bottle with the, uh, all the white graffiti on it shall we say. Um, and my god that was good, but uh, Christ, the, uh, the kick it had was, <laughs> anyway I had, uh, I had one and I think one was enough certainly made me sleep that's for sure so I think the lack is just here now on the right you know, I've got a frog stuck down my throat today oh well wow. oh that's good beautiful So this is the first off-road bit of section 22 in France, here we go. Fully loaded up.
the characteristics of the bike change so much when you've got a lot of luggage on and you're off road that's for sure I think I might have to take some uh, pressure out of the tyres I think Yeah, you can't, uh, you can't dick about so much, that's for sure Yeah, definitely going to have to put some tire and pressure out Going to have to stop <laughs> 